Do you never want to do this again? Well, good news. Today's video is for you. Hey everybody, Alf here, and today we're doing a quick and dirty look at optimizing your buddy rotation to get the most out of the best buddy system. Maybe you're just trying uh, to get that platinum badge, you love those uh, achievements. Maybe you're working on multiple buddies for the PvP or the raid system in game. Either way, there's a number of different ways that you can increase the number of buddies that you get and um, be efficient with the amount of time you spend uh, in this mechanic. First and foremost, let's tackle the simplest, the most common thing uh, I see when I'm live streaming and uh, working on a, a buddy rotation is how do we get rid of this? And this is super annoying, right? Oh, I put it over there by my computer. Great. This is nonsense, right? Let's let's take a look at how to turn that off. Yeah, that's probably why you're here. So to get rid of that, it's very, very simple. You're going to go into the settings menu up here and you're gonna go ahead and you're going to turn off this Niantic AR Plus. By doing that, next time you go into your buddy and you hit that play button, you can just leave your phone sitting exactly where it is, the buddy will run on out, you can do your rotation, simple as that. Now, let's talk efficiency with your buddies. Obviously, when you look at your buddies, there's a number of different hearts that you can earn, and most of these take some time. Walking together is gonna take some time, right? To give your buddy treats, it's gonna take some time. Or is it? Each and every day, they let you swap your buddy 20 times. And while you aren't going to earn some of those long time play hearts like walking, you can earn a really significant number of hearts on a significant, that's 20 buddies, every single day by rotating through them. Let's take a look real quick at what that looks like. So I'm gonna select uh, a new buddy. I'm gonna select something that I recently acquired. I've got this uh, perfect lucky Kyogre that I'm working on best buddying, probably for some Master League play at some point. So we'll bring in our Kyogre here and we've got no hearts on it. So let's just do a quick buddy rotation. So we'll go ahead and fire up the play feature. We've turned off AR Plus, so Kyogre is just gonna slowly but surely wander onto screen here. And here's some things we can do. We can take a photo. There's one buddy heart. We can play with our buddy, give the whale a little rub down. Good stuff. Um, personally, especially when I've been doing a lot of raiding, I end up with a lot more golden raspberries than I would like in my inventory. A single golden raspberry will fill the entire buddy heart meter instead of three berries, which actually saves you quite a bit of time if you have an excess of them. It's actually a really good place to use them if you're not worried about this Stardust or the gym defending expenditure. Now, if we take a look at our Kyogre, we've earned three buddy hearts. We can easily switch off to the next buddy here, but there's three more buddy hearts you can earn. If you've got a little extra time, you can actually earn all three of these battle together hearts in a very, very quick succession. So to do that, you're gonna go into the battle menu here, go all the way down to the bottom and select literally any of the leader battles. We'll want Master League due to the Kyogre size, and we'll simply throw Kyogre into this party and let the battle begin. As soon as it does, we're gonna go ahead and concede. Candela, you are just too darn powerful for us. We're gonna choose that exit in the top left. We're gonna get a small reward for our effort, um, a, a small amount of Stardust or an item. We get 300 dust, dope. And if you notice, our Kyogre has picked up a battle together heart. You can do that three times. Now that we've sufficiently satisfied our Kyogre's needs, here's what we do. We go ahead, we pull up the inventory, and we switch to a different buddy. Let's go ahead and choose our adorable little uh, Alolan Sand Shrew that we're working on. This is a little bit of a PvP meme that we're going to build because we can. And you'll see no hearts, that's fine. Let's go ahead and do our rotation. We've got a gift too, so that's a bonus heart hiding in there for us. But we'll open our gift, we'll take a photo, we'll feed some berries, we'll play with our buddy, and then we can switch again. And by doing this, rather than working on a single buddy at one time and only getting a handful of hearts a day, you can get a significant number of hearts on a significant number of buddies daily. 
And that about does it for this quick and dirty lesson on the Pokemon Go buddy system. There's still a lot more nuance here to learn. There's a lot of things, but basically all I wanted to do today was show you how to best take advantage of the mechanics in the game to grind those buddy hearts to get those Pokemon buddied as quickly as possible. I do hope you enjoy this video. If you want to see more stuff like this, go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, uh, and let me know if there's other things you'd love to see. Cheers.